but we didn't have cable, we didn't have satellite internet. I basically relied on an AM radio, uh, hearing the crackle in the, in the station, knowing that there was a storm approaching. So anytime that crackle went off, it was time to head down to the basement. That's where, that's where it all started. Storm chaser and photographer Chris Knox loves weather. He even admits it's a bit of an obsession. However, it didn't start out that way. I think like a lot of people, um, it started off with more of a, as a kid, a, a fear of, uh, of storms. Born and raised in Northumberland County, Ontario, Chris remembers vividly the moment he became aware of how dangerous weather can be. It was while on vacation as a young boy with his family. One summer, uh, I remember a storm was, was coming in and we all moved inside. And I remember looking out the window and seeing the, the covered uh, porch roof uh, lift off, go over top of the trailer really put me in the mind frame of uh, any time this could happen. It was studying and learning about weather that helped Chris overcome his fear. Technology today makes it much easier as well. You can look at a radar now and see exactly where the severe weather is heading and you know whether you're in the path of it or not, where before it was such a blanket generalization. As an adult, the father of three has a healthy respect for weather and recalls a recent storm that was tornado warned in his area. You notice that every storm feels different. Some of them feel very picturesque. This one felt almost sinister and had a very eerie feeling to it. After the storm had gone by, I made my way into, into down some roads and you know trees were down, power lines were down. Did my best to call in whatever I could call in. Uh, school buses were en route at that point in the day. It really shows you that you know what some some of these storms really do mean business. Chris has passed down his weather knowledge and passion to his children. All three can read a weather radar, and not one is fearful. For Father's Day, his seven-year-old even drew a picture of his dad storm chasing. I asked Chris what his advice would be to others who may have a storm phobia. He uses the deadly derecho that roared through Ontario and Quebec as an example. Things can go from a clear day to a really bad situation. And I know it's bothered a lot of people, uh, especially with like power outages for weeks on end. But all you can do really is uh, educate yourself. Learn what causes them. Uh, and then even more so, learn what you need to do in the event of a situation like that happening again, because I mean, I'm sure it's gonna happen again in the future.